Um, first off, you're looking fresh. You're back in the scene. Talk to me about what it means to be a part of this car coming back to YouTube boxing and crossover boxing. Well, um, thank you, man. I'm looking fresh because I just had a haircut. Um, first of all, I just want to say my wife just got her visa, so uh, I'm so happy about that. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm really happy. To, uh, I'm really happy to be back in boxing again. Earlier on this year, I was diagnosed with a skin cancer called uh, DFSP, um, and I had my previous fight with it. And mentally, uh, training for that fight was the only thing to mentally keep me away from thinking about having cancer. Alhamdulillah, now I'm now cancer-free. Um, again, uh, it just means the world to me because um, I, I'm not thinking about I, I'm, could, could I die or, or not anymore and now like, I just feel great now to be able to have this opportunity to then be back to fight again. So yeah man, uh, thank you for, uh, Mams for having me on here, thank you for, for Liam to organise the fight and thank you for DTG to obviously uh, agree to fight as well man. So yeah, I feel great man. Fighting a guy with experience, right? Along him, obviously, already fought Salt Poppy before we really knew what Salt Poppy was. A killer in this scene, but also has a win under his belt. Talk to me about what you're feeling, what you're thinking coming into this fight, how your training's been going. Um, yeah, obviously, it's, um, it's different, you know? It's different from what I know. I'm an artist, I make music, I don't box. Um, so yeah, it's different, it's been interesting. Um, not having too much time to really my time very well, got some very good trainers, big up the Comiskeys, um, and yeah, I feel like, obviously it's natural to have nerves going into something that you're not really used to, it's natural, all human, but again, using my time as best as I can really, using every single day to train for this fight, and yeah, it's fight week now, and I believe I'm ready. Hello, Ham, you hear DTG talking about, you know, he hasn't done this as much yet, he's coming into the scene new, and that it's natural to feel those nerves. Are you looking across the table and seeing a guy that is ready, or is maybe a bit too nervous for this moment? Listen, my friend, uh, this fight is going to be uh, it's going to be a good fight. And like I said, uh, I appreciate for him to obviously step into the ring and and, and obviously fight me. But um, this camp, uh, I've been training with Salt Papi. He's been in my camp. I've had a really good uh, trainer as well, Solomon. Uh, we've just had an unreal camp. Uh, <coughs> So yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. DTG, I gotta ask just really quickly, what was the barber talk earlier this week? What was that about? There was some, he was coming at you with some allegations, you know, hit the barber shop, something like that. What, what was going on there? Sorry, do you mean when we were on the Zoom call? Yeah, oh, yeah, I got a haircut during the Zoom. Yeah, call. this guy just got, he was getting a haircut while we were on Zoom. Like, I, I didn't really understand what was going on. I needed a haircut. Uh, that, that's what I needed. I needed a haircut. Have you gotten that yet? Yeah, 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 I've got a haircut now, but I, but I need one back then as well. I, I can't really see I just needed a haircut. Like, okay. Even yesterday, I was wearing odd socks. I, I didn't have any shoes. But yeah, uh, and, then, and then he's complaining about my socks. I'm, I'm, I'm not wearing any socks now, so you have me. He's, he's upset about me getting a haircut, and yesterday he's upset I'm about me wearing odd socks. I'm not about anybody getting a haircut, I just feel like when there's a Zoom call, oh, and it's a face-off, there's something to be done there, not to get a fucking... Yeah, in the boxing gym while we're meant to be doing something serious. Your whole, oh, that's cute. Don't cry. Your whole build up up to this fight has been extremely unserious. I don't think you're a serious human. Your drip is terrible. Listen, who I said? <laughs> Someone <laughs> cute. Sorry, sorry. Whoever on the mic said that. My you friend, bastard. What do you say, bro? You say not serious, bro. Listen, bro. You're going to go inside the ring, have a little hug, bro. You say you're serious. Of course I'm serious, bro. What are you doing? Listen, say you know, whoever on the mic said that. What, what are you saying, bastard? You're a fucking liar. For starters. But yeah, um. I'm looking forward to the fight. My friend doing song about Rover, where he not got Rover? What are you driving for? Your name is taking the game, but you're not even playing games. I need a translator, that's all I know. What game are you playing for? You're not playing nothing. Well, there it is, folks. Uh, that's our first fight on the night. Yeah, apologies for the language there, but... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's move on to fight number two. Anthony Taylor. Ashley Raksu. 